Alright, for the next few videos we're going to be looking in depth into matrices. This one's just a bit of an introduction. A matrices is essentially just an, an array of numbers, uh, what, uh, an array of objects, but you'll see that more with more with examples. First thing we we'll look at is the size of a matrix. So the size, we write the size as an M by N matrix where M's the number of rows and N's the number of columns. And then so M and N are the dimensions of the matrix and M times N or M by N we say it pronounce this by so m by n n is the size of the matrix okay so we'll have a look at a couple of matrices and decide what their size is we've got a matrix here that with the numbers four six two minus eleven two and one so or I should have added when I said a matrix is an array of an array or collection of you know mathematical objects it's ordered as well so you can't the matrix is defined as 4, 6, 2, 11 if you swap any of these elements around it's a different matrix um, and this or the rows that's one row there's a second row so our M is Two, and then we'll look at our columns. We've got one, two, three. Now, that looks terrible, but it illustrates the point. So this is a two by three matrix. Okay. Now for our next example, we're going to take matrix one, four. 16, 6, and that's important to make sure you read across like this and down to the next row, like you're reading in a language. Um, 7, 5, minus 3, 1, 8, minus 2, minus 15, 1, and 2, minus 7. Minus three. So now this matrix has one, two, three, four rows, and one, two, three, four columns. So this is a four by four matrix. And this leads us on to our next point. Four by four, well, it's got the same amount of rows and columns, so the shape it takes is square. I mean, not quite because of the way I've drawn it, but by definition, this is a square matrix because a square matrix is when we have M is equal to N. We call the matrix a square matrix. And that's something important to note for later operations will perform on matrices where you can only do it on matrices of this form so it's important to be able to recognize them so a matrix that's 1 by 1 2 by 2 3 by 3 4 by 4 5 by 5 etc all the way up to m times m um, is a square matrix all right the final thing we're going to look at in this video is addition and subtraction. So for matrices, this is element-wise. What we mean by element-wise is when we add two matrices together, we add the corresponding uh, elements in the matrix in each matrix together. So we'll show with an example. Also important to note, we can only add and subtract 
matrices that are exactly the same size and we'll see why in a minute so let's take some two e2 matrices four five minus one zero and we want to add this to one zero two one so what we do is we take this top left element in this matrix and we add it to the top left one in this one. That's what I mean by corresponding the the elements in the same position. So four plus one that's five. Now we do five plus zero, that's five. Minus one plus two is one. And zero plus one is one. So now you should be able to see why these have to be the same size. If we try and add, I don't know, say, well, let's just write A, B, C, D, and we try and add that to uh, X, Y, Z, okay? How do we define the corresponding element? If these matrices are not the same, the same size. It's impossible to decide whether which one to add A to B, C, D, and also there's fewer elements in this one to add, so the addition and subtraction isn't really defined. So yeah, important to note if you, if you are asked in the exam, I don't know what's what's can you add these two matrices? They might ask it. The, the check for that is are they the same size? That's it for this. Uh, quick little video introducing matrices. In the next video I think we'll look into matrix multiplication perhaps and yeah and across the next coming weeks we'll do all sorts of tran matrix transformations, inverting matrices of various sizes, finding determinants, all this stuff. So stay tuned for that. But for now, that's it. If you did enjoy please like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one.